Hi, I'm Alexandra Queen, Assistant Managing Editor at the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here with Dr. Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief. And in this month's journal, we have a study on oxygen therapy in patients with acute myocardial infarction. Can you tell us about it, Dr. Alpert? Yes, Alex, this is a really important and interesting article. For decades now, every time a patient comes to the emergency room and is having chest pain, the first thing the nurses do is they immediately put oxygen on. And when they put oxygen on, it turns out that actually you're hurting some of the patients. And why are you hurting some of the patients? Because if you push oxygen levels very high in the bloodstream, you actually cause small blood vessels to clamp down, raise the blood pressure, and actually make more work for the heart. And it turns out you don't benefit the patients at all. You might even help them. And there have now been a whole bunch of studies pointing this out. And this article puts them all together with the final conclusion is, if the patient comes in and has a normal oxygen saturation in their blood, and you know, we test it with a little device that you put on the finger, um, if they're normal, don't give them extra oxygen because you're not helping them, you're actually hurting them. Okay, and what are the clinical implications for the practicing physician? So this is really clinically important news. It's going to be a paradigm change. We're not going to be giving routine oxygen to patients who come in automatically with chest pain. Of course, if the blood oxygen level from the finger oxygen determination is low, of course they'll get supplemental oxygen to get them in the normal range. That's a tiny minority of the patients. The overwhelming majority come in with totally normal oxygen saturations in their blood, and consequently, we don't want to hurt them, so don't give them extra oxygen.